Hello! Today I want to help show you how to install a wall air conditioning unit in your fireplace so you can still use your fireplace in the winter. <clears throat> and also, you won't have to cut a nasty hole in your wall. That was my biggest thing. I was ready. Anyway, I was at my friend's house the other day and we both used swamp coolers to cool. They work pretty good until the temp gets over 100 degrees outside. So I saw it was working there. I said, I can do this too. And uh, so I'll show you how I did it. Um, first thing you do is clean out your fireplace, obviously. Then you want to build your stand. His stand was on a milk carton. Probably you do it however way you want. The way I did it was I stacked uh, two fire bricks here and in the back and then I nailed two two by fours together and you want to get it as high up here as you can um, that was my objective but remember your fireplace slopes backwards so um, that's what we had to do um, let me show you this uh, you see the fire brick and the two bys okay so this is an 8,000 BTU unit, uh, a little undersized, we'll get into that later. Uh, Walmart uh, decided to roll up the prices during the heat spell instead of roll back them. Uh, scoundrels. Um, so now you're in um, and you got to cut your piece of wood. So I use plywood, you can use riffing, uh, whatever. Um, half inch, three eighths, that'd be good. And I go, I'd go about two inches uh, over on each side here. And same thing here, about two inches over here. Um, you'd be good. Um, you don't need a tight seal. You can if you want. Air conditioner's pulling from the inside air and conditioning it, throwing it back out. And then uh, you cut that piece of plywood. And then you want to measure um, from here to here, to here to there, to there to there. It's kind of tricky. Um, if you don't know how to do that, get somebody that does. It's real easy. Um, the trick there is uh, measure one, measure two to three times, cut once. Okay. And I got lucky on this. So oh, another thing I want to tell you. Um, once you get your base in there, I put a level on there. And I was lucky, I was level from side to side and front to back. But it's okay if you're not, you can shim it. You can shim it with a matchbook, a little piece of wedge, uh, door jam wedges, or uh, shoot, newspaper, magazine, anything. It's real easy to do. So, I got my plywood. <coughs> And uh, the reason I say you cut once, because if you cut too big, it's going to take a lot of dirty socks to clog up that opening around there. You don't want to do that. Dewey. Um, too small, you can always cut again. And this one fits, but once you get yours cut, you want to bring yours in and test it before you paint. And I know this fits, so you got to test yours. Bam. See how easy that goes down? In for summer, out for winter. Um, then we'll plug that rascal in. Ooh ah la, ooh ha, ooh ha. Then turn her on. And there you have it. <clears throat> so I got a 1200 square foot house. Uh, I have to vent the water cooler to the back now. Um, too small of a unit. I'll get a bigger one. I'm going to get the 10,000 um, next summer. And this will work fine for this summer. We just ran through uh, six days. Uh, tied a record 105 degree plus. It's brutal. I know a lot of you are going through that too, so I hope this helps. Um, this is a 400 square foot room, 8,000 was uh, close 350 square feet. 
Um, the 10,000 goes 450, so I say go oversize. Um, better be cooler than warmer. Um, but I'm okay because during those 105 degree days, my living room would have been 88 degrees. Instead, it was 79. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Can't take the heat like I used to. Man! Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, objective during hot days is to stay cool. So, enjoy and God bless. Oh, ha! Here's my bird cat. He's in all the videos, so say hi, bird. <laughs>